Well, Kate, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, well, what a fantastic result. 57-5 victors over the Worcester Warriors this afternoon. Just some of your emotions after that one. Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, we're, we're happy with the win. Um, we're happy to continue to retain our position at the top of the table. But uh, I think a lot left to be desired about the what, what we put out on the pitch today. Uh, we weren't quite as precise as we wanted to be. But then again, small victories. You know, we got a couple people in the try line with some huge scores. Maisie Allen's back, putting tries down and things like that. So, um, again, a lot of great performances. But as a whole, I think, you know, we'll, we'll take this home and we'll improve. Well, you say you weren't maybe as precise as you wanted to be, but 57 points on the road and what was a tough atmosphere here at Six Ways. Uh, you must be delighted with some of the attack out there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Worcester gave us all they had. Um, you know, they're a physical team. They they never give up and I, I really appreciate like, their warrior mentality. Um, they're always a fun team to play. They always challenge us and they challenge themselves too to, to continue to be better. You know, that's why they're a team to have found their way back into the Prem for next year and I'm really excited for them for that to keep growing. Um, but um, yeah, they, they just challenged our plays and they challenged our handling. We beat ourselves a few times, but yes, on, to your point, we did cross the whitewash a few times, which we're happy about, but just wanted to see it happen a few more times a little earlier. Absolutely, and let's just talk about yourself quickly. You're back in the centre today. You're swapping between the back row and centre almost <laughs> weekly at the moment. How are you finding adapting to those changes? Um, it's good. I think every once in a while, if I'm not expecting it, might take a few minutes just to like remind myself I'm in the backs, get away from a breakdown, and from a forward, go to the breakdown. Uh, but it's it's a really great way to work on like my dynamic playing ability. Um, I like to play in the outside channels, but maybe I don't do it well enough. So centers challenge that part of my game. Uh, maybe it's thrown me back into some of my sevens mentality from way back in the day. But um, I don't know. It's nice. It keeps it interesting. But I think, like I said, more importantly, it's actually helped me develop my skills at eight. Indeed, and we have to mention as well, you're holding a plaque actually, which we can't see in the camera shot at the moment. Maybe just hold it up for us. It is, of course, your 50th appearance for the Exeter Chiefs today. How do you feel passing that milestone? Uh, it's an honour. You know, it's a club that i got to come be a part of uh, in its inception two, two and a half years ago now. Um, and it's been a real pleasure playing along this with these girls and this team and watching it grow the last two and a half years. And I'm just excited to continue to see where we go. It's here. You mentioned playing alongside some of these teammates. It just seems to be an absolutely fantastic vibe at the moment. You all seem to be really close-knit. How much do you enjoy playing with all these players? It's good. I think we... We bring so much personality to the team. You know, we've got you know different countries all on the same team out in the southwest, um, chasing the same goal, which is to be the best players and version that we can be, um, but also raise one of the best teams in the southwest and grow the game. Uh, you know, for not only girls but boys and, and everyone, women who are learning the sport. Um, and so I think everyone's got that passion about rugby. Everyone's got that passion to be the best and grow the best rugby around. And uh, it, like I said earlier, it's just special to be a part of that. And of course, you're back at home next weekend at Sandy Park against Loughborough Lightning. You must be wanting to put on a great show for those fantastic home supporters. Yeah, we've got an exciting month ahead. We've got Loughborough at home and then again back at Twickenham shortly thereafter for a couple of big games back to back, you know, with the other top half of the team clashes. So um, I think this is where we really cement our opportunity. Uh, you know, you don't want to look too far ahead, but we are a couple of big wins. Uh, the next two weeks, I think, will really help seal our fate into playoffs maybe come June. Uh, but first order of business is to get a huge crowd out at Sandy Park uh, next Saturday for a big game against Loughborough. That's great. Thanks very much, Kate. Thank you.